I want to sit on here and pretend that I'm... No, I want to sit on the giant slug. Oh. <laughs> Can I go there? No. <laughs> I know, Ellie is not in the mood, but I am. <sighs> How does anyone stay dry in this city? Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. And... I just know I was here. I won't find anything. Um, Dina is still um, basically vomiting a lot. Come on, help me out. And now we're trying to find Tommy to get out of this shitty town. Okay. Go for it. But I think that's just a ruse for Ellie to actually get more revenge. Okay. Because I think Tommy will be fine on his own. He can... He's an adult. He can make his own decisions. And he did. Thanks. What did you tell Dean? That we're hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't... Tell her you knew. If that's what you're... I wasn't. This aquarium a wolf base? I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some fireflies. No, former fireflies. What kind of falling out? Uh, he was a smuggler. And they disagreed about some goods. Mm. Fight broke out, some of them died. Mm -hmm. I guess they wanted payback. Mm -hmm. Damn. That changed anything for you? Nope. I need to get clear on something. When we find Tommy, you're good with going home. Yeah. You'll be leaving some of those assholes alive. Dina should be back in Jackson. Okay. Good. I don't know. I even think that Ali's, um, like, she said that they have to get Tommy because Tommy did all of this because of Ali, and I don't think he did. I think something broke in him when Joel got killed. Oh, Frogo! Ah, oh, that's cute. And he somehow needs to kind of, I don't know. I think he, he feels like he has the need to do this for some bullshit masculine reason. I guess the same re like toxic reason that, that Ali also has. This weird nonsensical honor system that doesn't really exist and doesn't bring anything to the table. So it's just an excuse. It's really not, you know, about Tommy or his decisions or whatever. Also interesting that she's not telling Jesse the real reason um, why the fireflies won. I, probably because he would immediately go like, well, so I guess what they did was the right thing <laughs> to do. Jammed? <clears throat> yeah. I first want to look... Why is nothing? Right? Something in here? No. There was a door in the back. Jeez, Jesse. You ever worry they're gonna come back to Jackson after us? Oh. What do you mean? I mean, we're going through a lot of their people. Yeah. In their city. Yeah. 
because of what they did. Well, didn't Abby and her friends come to Jackson because of something Joel did? Yeah, this place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, because Tommy went nuts and killed everyone on side on his side. <laughs> When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. We've been impressed. I bet. You don't cross that girl. Tormentra. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Once a kind, empathetic teenager, Tormentra was always bullied for being soft. But everything changed when a latent genetic mutation emerged, allowing her to convert the mental anguish of others into kinetic energy. The worse the pain, the more powerful the result. Now, her day job as a criminal psychologist allows her to absorb the worst things in people's lives and use it as literal ammo against those who persecuted her. Many suspect Tormentra of feeding off the hurt of those who get, got in the way of her prior outbursts, creating a never-ending cycle of suffering, neutral villain. Well, what a coincidence that this ties so much into the conversation we just had with Jesse. Yeah, let's see whether I even have enough um, bits. What is it? Pieces? Stuff? No, not at all. I think the range finder will be my next um, thing, but I don't have enough for that. But maybe I have enough pills to do something cool. Hmm, that's kind of cool. But no, I still wait. Although, no, the steady thing is really good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then I can craft more arrows. So that's cool as well if I get to the next stage. Um, do I have to craft something? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, well, let's see what's what's up here. Oh. I was just tying my shoes, jo Jesse. Oh, I wanted to say Joel. Oh, it's, it's probably the jacket. That's such a Joel jacket. I didn't mean to confuse you with Joel. I'm sorry. Although I guess I have a chip on my shoulder regarding Joel. I have a chip on my shoulder. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Through here. I just gotta ask. Why didn't she tell me about it? the pregnancy? Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it when she... Going down today. All the units will be rounded up. Who did you hear it from? Top man was shot. We made sure this area is clear away from the other unit. And then take the fight to the star. The last time... It won't be like last time.
Shit! Oh fuck! No! Oh! Hey! Wow, we stealthed one person, that's... <laughs> oh well... And, but you see, I'm trying, right? That it? No. Coward. You are I'm rather coward than dead. Oh shit. Oh yeah, well. Ooh. Okay. Wow, oh, jeez. So trigger happy. I mean, we're as well. We're with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about seraphines or something, seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. So, um, did I already mention that um, Jesse is voiced and motion acted by Stephen A. Chang. He's an actor. Um, he hasn't done much, but uh, I put a link on his work and then you can see for yourself. Apparently he's also doing um, another game in the future. I mean, he has a really nice voice and he's pretty good. His, I think he's... Um, great comedic timing so maybe that's something in the future for Stephen A. Chang just you know if he ever sees this <laughs> I'm laughing because no he won't um, you know what whatever I'm angry Ugh. screw that um, Because it's not there's this you know a comedic delivery is it's not always the easiest. Not everyone can do that. And he's he's also one of those characters. Um, I mean, all of them they don't look like they're voice actors and mo mocap actors and actresses. Um, but I don't know if he was based on a real person because Dina and Abby as well, they're both based on, on, on people. So yeah, Stephen A. Chang. Again, I will I will put up a, a link of his work so you can look him up if you're interested. If you're just as smitten as I am. By the way, can I... Um, Can I go behind there? No, it doesn't look like this. And is that no, there's nothing. Okay, now what? Maybe we can head down there. Oh, you mean that white circle? Is that what you mean? Um, is there anything else here? Something interesting. I mean, you know, Naughty Dog forces me to do this because they have so much cool stuff that you can discover in the nooks and crannies. It's a bunch of comics. Wait, what was happening here? Gathering for people who are really yeah, a lot of nerds. Like you, basically. We were born in the wrong time, man. Yeah, Ellie would have been a nerd. Or a geek. Probably a geek. I make the distinction um, between nerds and geeks. Oh. That nerds are more on the um, scientific side. 
you know, mathematics, physics, biology, academics in general, and geeks are more pop culture. That's my own definition. I don't know if it holds up and maybe people are thinking that's not the right way, but it's my own distinction. So I'm a geek and my husband is a nerd. Because he's into a lot of stuff that geeks are not really into and vice versa. Like I love video games even though I can't play them. I love horror movies. I love comics, like graphic novels. He also likes graphic novels but the kind of like Chris Ware and stuff. Which I also like but I also like horror graphic novels. I like Lego. And he's into postcards and uh, GR architecture and history. So, <laughs> yeah. But good news, geeks and nerds can fall in love. Before, about Dean. You said she'll tell me when. Once things are wrapped up here. Because at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't. Again, the whole gynecologist being pregnant, the medical side of all of this must be so bad in a post-apocalyptic world. Like, no thank you. Look at this mess. The aquarium. Very nice to that Ferris wheel. He's hoping Tommy has the same info. <clears throat> Damn it. Looks like we're swimming. Yeah, well. Uh, Geronimo! Um. Oh, I could have walked upstairs. Um. Dina's voice actress and mocap act actress, by the way, is not Casina Cadonna, that's the face model, but um, Shannon Woodward. And some of you might know her from her work okay. on Westworld. Where now? Well, first we look Working on it. there. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. Huh.
don't hear anything. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Just imagine that I did a headshot, even though I didn't. In my head, I did a headshot. <laughs> Anything here? Ah, what's this? We got more. Oh, God, damn it! Shit. Oof. Whoa, yeah. Where? Okay. Is that it? Hmm. Oh, yes! I get a blade. Oh, I mean, after I just um, put stuff into whatever. To whatever sorry asshole finds me, can barely keep my hands steady, but everyone on base needs to know. I got ambushed on my way to relieve Misha at the monorail lookout. One of the scars, I swear he looks just like our boy Grey. Ooh. Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in... Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in that fucking snake's face for me. And tell Mish I'm sorry, I tried to hustle. Jensen. So he got, um... He got done in by by the Seraphites. Also, yeah, I always find something better as soon as I put material into my weapon. Apparently that's how it needs to go. But whatever, the blade is so much better. It's faster, I think, than the X. I'm not quite sure, though. Maybe it isn't. And I just wasted a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Okay. Now that's it. This way. Can I um Go down there? Yeah. Ugh. Is there something here? No. Um. Oh, but yeah, I can go this way. But here, look. Think you can get through there? Let's see. I would have What's a bookstore? If you told me you were leaving. Oh. I just I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up to Joel. What happened to him was messed up. I would have come. I mean, you don't know what he did, so... You Joel's can say that. Too, you know. He used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? I mean... You're... Handsome and whatever, but... Um... Not in your type. What? Asians? <laughs> yeah, that's obviously what I meant. <laughs> Ali is cancelled! This cannot stand. Pretty messed up. Putting fungus in the kids' section. Mushroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't exactly carry the same meaning back then. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was a different time, Jesse. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's cute. Realizing how you are made, said the skin horse. Oh, so skin horse? Is that a term? That's scary. It's a thing that happens to you when a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you. Then you become real. Does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. I know you're upset. What if we talked like this for a bit? Would that help? Okay. I didn't mean to grab you like that. I hope I didn't hurt you. Even mommies are scared sometimes. I'm okay. I'm really scared too. I get how angry you are. I miss him too. But you can't scream like that. I just want... I know. I love you very much. I won't let anything happen to you. I love you too. Aww. Oh man. Yeah. Battle ghosts. It's about mm -hmm. the space marines who fight off... Ghosts. Alien ghosts. Sound like something you'd like. Okay. What about you, smartass? Well, my mom only had this one kid, though. the root child. About the boy who turns into a forest to save his village. Okay. Oh, that's sad. To keep things fresh, though, my mom would improvise different endings. <laughs> this one time, the boy just let the whole village die. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> it's dark. That's really sweet she did that. Yeah. Mom's a sweetheart. She's gonna go crazy when she hears about this baby. Sure. I could see that. The book story sounds like, you know, again, um, a parallel for Ellie's story. This place is fucked. Oh, those are Seraphites. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. You know, the child that sell saves the village, but in one story iteration, um, everyone dies. That's basically what happened. But not because of the kid, but because of Joel. And Ali is the root child. No. I like these small little parallels they throw in occasionally in the game. It's kind of... Um, did I look at everything? Uh, I do wanna... Oh, damn it. Oh well. Anything here? Ha! No, don't need that. Okay. Everything's so sad in this world. Oh my god, it's a dog again. No. No. No, 
Nope. We're trying to stealth. You got. Oh my god, why do I have my flashlight on? But I'm. Oh no, no. Oh! No. 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 Why would you say that? Oh shit. Well, I'm sorry, but this has to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, start a sweep. We're not alone. Do you right? Shit. Oh shit! Fuck! No! I cannot for the life of me- No, no dogs! No dogs allowed! Oh! Whoa! I don't want this. Oh, God damn it. I think that was the last one. Yeah. This place makes me appreciate Jackson, man. Me too. This was a good stealth section, right? Um, totally nailed that. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, I didn't nail that. Um, maybe Jackson can be like it is because there are no factions. There's just one group of people so far. And they're in, in a rather small community, you know, it's not in a big city. Maybe in a big city it's just natural that this would happen. You know, because with Jackson, they're always like, and and the whole game. I mean, even Naughty Dog, it feels like wants us to think that Jackson is this this um, you know this one peaceful island, but they can afford it, and I think it has a lot to do with you know whether you can afford to be very peaceful and very nice to strangers or not, because. Um, I mean, Jackson at maximum has some hunters, but <laughs> also <laughs> Joel and Ellie killed most of them, so not even the hunters are a big problem anymore. I like to look at all the great ways I could have um, elegantly stealthed my way through. Like I enjoy seeing how how I messed up. Mm. 
I think whenever there's leaves, you cannot go that way. So were we supposed to go this way? No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it does? Okay. Uh-huh. Huh. Oh, there. There, there. Pine Street. Weren't we in another Pine Street ages ago with Dina? Back at, you know, with happier times. Back when we could still laugh at jokes. By the way, I looked it up because I, I talked a lot about um, inflicting so much violence on other people can damage you physically and mentally. And I'm right, There's it ca it's called perpetrator trauma. Um, because... Wait, is this not the way? It is. Because with um, PSD and trauma in general, very often the focus, especially the scientific focus, is on the victims. I mean, rightly so. You know, what abuse uh, can do to you physically and emotionally. But uh, there's also proof, scientific proof. Um, can I go to there? Hmm. Um, that perpetrators as well um, at a certain like not everyone but there are perpetrators especially soldiers who if they inflict very heavy violence um, then there's also a certain sort of trauma involved and yeah and the the um, for me surprising thing was um, it involves like they t detach emotionally um, sometimes they can also get violent in other areas of their life, but it doesn't just affect um, soldiers or, you know, other people involved with um, inflicting violence, but also people that work with killing animals, and that really shook me. Um, 80. I already have that. Mm. Stability. What does stability do, by the way? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do this for this one because I use that often for silent takedowns. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, perpetrator trauma. Um, people that work in um, like butcheries where they kill pigs and and uh, like cows and and you know other animals like that, they can get traumatized as well, and that's quite interesting um, and horrifying. But yeah, I get. I mean, it is very violent, and if you do this day in day out, I mean, not everyone can deal with that. There's so many ways uh, you can be traumatized. I also know that people that um, do the whole um, checking of Google images that were marked as not appropriate, for example, be or illegal because they contained um, pornographic images or whatever, that they also um, show signs of PTSD. Yeah. Honestly. Because these people have to look at, like, um, abuse videos all day long. Oh, man. Jesus. Yeah. How the hell are we crossing this? We could use that road. It's pretty fucking far. Or we use that.
try through here. So what's the plan? We take these guys out and steal their boat? Definitely taking their boat. It's up to them if they want to get in our way. Hopefully it's a small crew. Yeah, it won't be. It never is. It's always the biggest crew imaginable. So yeah, and then considering how much violence uh, Ellie has inflicted but also witnessed, I think she, she I mean, she, sh she was shaking after she um, tortured Nora. And also, you know, not killing, killed her, but tortured her. Um, that takes a toll on you. I think Ali is already pretty, pretty messed up and it will only get worse. I don't think she will ever get back to, to this state she was in when she was younger. I mean, few people are. In this world, you have to grow up so early. But I think there's still a difference in, in, for example, killing an infected or a an hunter and for going out of your way to um, go after people to kill them. That's a whole nother level. Well, that's not loud at all. Jesse, put out you your flashlight. The land bridge to the marina. The rest of you, you hold here and wait for orders. Uh. Ooh, that sounds like Tommy. So they don't see that. The guy with the just glowing flashlight. <laughs> okay. Also, I think the rest of us is probably just again a thousand people. Like an entire village of people. Because they're endless. The WLF, the Seraphites, they have endless resources. Saving your ass again. I really hope you make it. The audacity. This will suck, by the way, because I was bad the first run around, and I was generally better the first time I played all of this. Ugh, why, Ellie? Why? This is the worst. Got the engine back up. Where should I put in? Lock it on the other side. Copy. Why would I want to do anything of this? 
be anywhere. Okay, um, get up and get down again. Can I go here? Yes. Oh! Oh, this wasn't a good idea. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Shit. Come on. Okay. I hope they stay back there. I don't want them... Anywhere else. Oh. Aw, oh, damn it. No, I... Oh, wait. Wait, what? She ran behind the Can shell. I just... Can I remove the stupid silencer? Why am I not... Oh, that's why. Oh my god, this is annoying. This is not good... Oh my god. Okay, honestly, this is not good gameplay. That if I'm sitting next to something to pick up, the game's like, no, let's... <laughs> you can't remove the silencer, you have to pick up. In an infinite loop! Okay. I don't have that much ammo. Oh. Oh, I could also have swum here? Oh. I mean, that's the cool thing, that I have a lot of, uh... Oh, I'm, I fi I'm, I'm nervous. I'm a little bit shaking. I shouldn't say this. Because then you know that I'm so scared. All the time. Okay. Let's just get that measly piece of ammo. One of the best investments I ever made in this game was adding the damage to this thing, because now it's a one-shot deal. That has saved my ass a lot of times. Okay. Oh, there's someone. I have to go that way? Jesus, that's so far away. Huh.
Let's check for a second. Oh, there's someone up there. Maybe I can, um... Yeah, get a bit of... I want to see you. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. At least something. But I'm shaking right now. I'm really tense. That's kind of the thing. Um, this kind of game with this intensity is usually not something I would play. Like if I'm shaking, just imagine how Ellie feels. <laughs> Although she's so cool. She's like, uh, no biggie. Oh, this is probably, oh, what's this? The back door way up. Anyone got good news for me? No. We had only shitty news. Like everyone, there's no good news. Yes, thank you. No. Okay. They're far away because I don't see anyone nearby. Wow, one bullet. Hmm. Oh, there's someone. No. No, no, no. Hmm, what do I do with her? Oh, shit. Okay, for a second I thought he looked like Hitler. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he looked like Adolf Hitler. I mean, you are a fucker as well, Ellie. Let's be honest. At this point, you're not really... I mean, we're rooting for you because we know you, but not because you're the person we should root for. So there's people downstairs. And then there's people. It's a lot of people. Oh. Are they following? No? I'm not that elusive. You cannot tell me. Oh, there's someone. There's more than someone. Okay, 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 okay. Well. Well, well. Yeah. Quick. Oh, I didn't get her. But boy, did I get him. Oh, whatever. I kill her. I don't know why I'm trying headshots. I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I'm not the headshot. <laughs> That's not the let's player I am. I have to accept that. Where is he? See the last one left? See the last of them. You have anything? This spot's clear. Oh. Okay. Right. Boat. I think my analysis is spot on that this very looming like the if the music gets more intense, the more brutal um, Ellie is. I would love to test my theory by just doing some um, stealth missions where I don't hurt anyone, but <laughs> that's not going to happen. So this is all we can can go by. I will not jump. 
and then I will loot and then I will get into the boat. Yay! Yay! It's a giraffe! Oh. I was super cut of the giraffe sightings in the first game that I that I found. I didn't think I would find one here, but apparently it's a little it's a little gift to me. Despite my bad playing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you naughty dog. That was cute. Okay. Always load your weapons when you're not in need of them, because then when you're in need of them, you're all set. Woo! Nice. Also, this boat mechanic, that is so smooth. That is so smooth and easy to do. I have usually uh, a lot of problems maneuvering vehicles in video games to the point where it's just a slapstick and oh what's that um and I'm very delighted that uh, in The Last of Us it is generally very fun to Maneuver horses and um, manure, <laughs> you know, manure because of horse shit, anyways. Um, to maneuver horses and, and boats. Also, I get motion sick with certain vehicles in games, um, but not with these. So that's also pretty cool. Like, Far Cry is not fun when you have motion sickness. What's this? What's... what's... I wanted to say that and this. Oh. Mmm. Actually, no, but do I need? I don't. Oh well. Took a small break. Is there more to find? Um... Oof. Oh, this is the way. Oh, I want to look whether I see something else. Don't want to miss anything. Ugh. Oh, apparently I don't miss a thing. I just waste your time. <laughs> but then... I'm a Let's Player. That's what I do. Also being a newbie Let's Player and playing a game that's restricted, age restricted, like really the, the limit <laughs> of, you know, 18 and up. Kind of frustrating, gotta be honest. There's not a lot of views. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I'm not doing it for the views. I'm not, you know, I know. <laughs> it's 2020 and I started a Let's Play channel. I know that that's not really the smartest choice. Always the tape, it's always missing. Oh, come on. But still, it hurts a little when you have days where no one watches your videos. Wait, didn't we have one of those Leviathans before? Sevlopod. 
Long thought to be a myth passed down through superstitious sailors, this extra-dimensional entity has taken on the form of a gargantuan, bioluminescent squid, hiding from others of his kind. This hyper-intelligent being has taken a liking to our seas and the diverse life forms living within them. Unfortunately, Sev Lofard has a temper to match its smarts, conducting acts of tentacle-based terrorism against fishing vessels, oil tankers and other sea craft, which is beliefs are part of the cycle of harm against the world's oceans. Our only hope might be Big Blue. Yeah, Big Blue is the is the um, extra dimensional whale that has to hold breath to not um I know go by the world history because they for them a second is like nothing. I mean that was to be expected. Ali, don't know, don't you know where you are? You're in a gaming environment. No doors ever open. Be happy that you're not in Silent Hill. We're truly ninety percent of all doors are not open, and never will be. Beth, if you're reading this, then I'm toast. I hope it wasn't those scar fuckers, but some blaze of glory. Bigger hope is you remember where we hit the stash. Code is 70 12 64. It's not much, but it's all I have. I want you to take it. Be well, Randall. I hope I find this. Also, did we... Did we read another note with Beth? Oh. There you are. I don't see anything. It's so bright. Abby, I begged you to stop. You brought this on yourself. Well... <laughs> Did she really? What I know, they're former fireflies from the hospital. It makes sense. It's what my gut said all along. The WLF took a bunch of them in after they disbanded. They traveled to Jackson specifically to kill Joel, to torture Joel. Killing him wasn't enough. Abby's hiding out in the aquarium. What I don't know, why is Abby hiding out? Does it matter? Where are the rest of them? Do they matter if I get Abby? No. Where's Tommy? Is he still alive? He has to be. Should I tell Dina and Jesse about this? No, they can't know what Joel did. They won't understand. Do I understand? Kids used to think these were cute. Oh, that's the mushrooms. Ah, oh, Ellie. Ellie is a villain at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Abby is also. But Abby is not. There's no. There are no heroes in it. Uh, Jesse is a hero because he's there to help Dina and and Ali. And I don't think he would have taken part in this um, if he knew what they were facing. Ah, oh, that's the save. Okay, let's look at the message, because of course I did not remember the number. Mm, 701264. Okay. Okay, let's let's go. Just imagine to do all this to kill someone. Yeah. Not even someone who will do worse. Um Is there something here? No. And that's also cool, they have alternate um, boat controls for more accessibility. Uh, I mean, it looks like a really shitty motor. And it's so wet in Seattle. And those things. Oh, damn it. A one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Got it. Yeah, Ali, we know you're cool.
You try too hard, Ellie. What's this? There was something else. I don't want to miss... I say that so often. I'm sorry. Okay, whoopala! Uh-huh. Oh, it's just the workbench. Do I even have... I don't. Well, but it was nice to be, you know, in a in a dry spot for five seconds. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe there's something here that's interesting. No? Nothing. It's just for doing this. Wham! I mean, in real life that would have been super dangerous. Just saying. Oh. Um. Oh, someone. Oh, someone got lost. That looks like a shambler. If any wolves read this, warn Isaac and the others. The rumors are true. There's a new infected out there. Looks like something made it halfway to a bloater and took a turn. Ugly motherfucker. Maybe all the rain around here caused a mutation? No idea. That's what I'm saying. That this is a subspecies. This is not the next evolutionary step of the bloater. This is a split in the evolution of the of the infected. This is a new... This is a subspecies. This is so cool. It was slow, so I put it down easy, but when I went to check it out, all these pustules on it exploded. Whole right side of my body is burned, some kind of acid. If you see one of these things shambling towards you, stay back. And here's the thing. Is it the rain? Is it the humidity? Very interesting. The whole... Like, that whole thing, the, the evolution of the infected, is so interesting for me. Wait, that's where I came from. Look at this. This is wrecked. They really... Did they bomb this? This is so... Jesus. Damn it. Oh. Oh. No. Did they see me? Whoa. Holy mother! They're really going in on it. Also, Ellie is so sporty. Now that she learned swimming, she really... I mean, this is Olympia gold. Hashtag not this year. <laughs> Hashtag pandemic. Sad smiley. Um... Where am I? I'm inside of a train. That's cool. That is super cool. But also I hope it doesn't break down. Oh, another rope puzzle. Well, this will probably not be super embarrassing. I did so well back then. Um, oh yeah. What? No, this wasn't it. Hoopala. Yeah. That's right. That's because I played this game before. And this time it really didn't take me a thousand years to again figure it out. <laughs> like I still get red with shame that this happened to me. Okay. 
Is there a letter? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Someone. Ooh. Misha, got word that you're replacing me. Yeah, we got his letter. I think he's also dead, so no worries. Wanted to give you a few pointers about this nest. The scars are sneaky bastards. Don't just watch the street. Check the rooftops. They got their own sharpshooters. Keep the infected alive. When the scars cross, they have to deal with them. Once they reveal their positions, take them out. Took out a pair of cultists and am now watching the infected devour their bodies. It's fucking glorious. Ew. Well, someone lost their marbles also a little bit. May your survival be long and your death be swift. Back. So you're the back from, from the TV show, from the Netflix show, um, you? Always imagined you differently. That it? Oh, I hear someone. Well, how do you want to go up here? I don't think there's any way for you. But where? that I'm having fun killing people. That would be horrible. Right. Okay. No. So let's go back to the boat and also look at what we what we might find there. Because I'm sure as hell interested to find out more about the Seraphites. They're really um, intriguing. Like cults, I'm weirdly obsessed with cults. Um, the whole psychology is really interesting. Like people always think only um, not smart people get roped in to cults, but it's actually really not the case. Especially smart people tend to fall victim of cults because they think they're too smart to fall for their tricks and they also engage in discussion because they think they can convince them. And that's where the whole... Oh, what's that? And that's where the whole... Um, they have uh, like questionnaires and... and checklists and manuals how to engage people in discussions and um, basically engaging with them in any discussion is what they want so don't <laughs> I think the same goes for um, the Jehovah Witnesses and all that you know and all those folks they know that you will come up and that you're super smart because you're so smart because you studied and you you know you watched a YouTube video on it <laughs> And that you will you, you actually I mean the audacity to think that you can convince them these people um, in Germany I don't know how it is in, in um, America or elsewhere in the world like uh, they stand there I think it's Jehovah's Witnesses or some other weird subset um, they stand in an open space for six to eight hours these people are hardcore believers. There's no argument that will in any way convince them that what they're doing is wrong. I mean, mainly because their whole world view would be completely wrecked if 
if they did, they would have to realize that so much is different, that, that everything they believed in was different, that they won't do it. But they have the right material, they have the, the checklist, they have the questionnaires, um, they have the prepared arguments to try to convince you that what they're doing is, is the right way. So don't. Yeah, and a lot of smart people get into cults because they think they can engage and then they get engaged. Yeah, no. Creepy. So that's the lady from the community that was had no infected for such a long time because they were completely isolated. And my theory is also that they... Um, That they, because they were so isolated from the world, that's why they didn't get infected. Not because of some religious whatever, but really client pitch me ideas. Okay, this could a really funny idea. A cat? Oh, cute. Market room. That's it. Oh, I thought I would find something cool like a letter or something. Yeah, and the workings of a cult, that's what fascinates me. Like, how you can rope in people into these just absurd beliefs. And also, very often, um, hierarchies and structures that are completely toxic. You know, very sexist most of the time, very... Um, very much against trans people and gay people. And still, there's so many folk that get roped into this. That's fascinating. Like the need to believe that something is different, that you are, you, that you know how it goes, that you know what's the best way. I think that's the allure of a cult. First of all, the community aspect, because they are usually very closely, tightly knit. And for example, um, Ooh. Okay. Of course. It would have been too easy. Um What's the one with Tom Cruise? Oh god, why did I forget that? That's the most famous I was supposed to get that shit out of the chain. Hmm. You have to get up there, I guess. Um Are you kidding me? I completely forgot the name. Scientology, Jesus. Um, they have a program for people to uh, get off drugs. And that's how they also wrote people in. So it's a community aspect uh, to help people in, like with depression, with drug problems, uh, addictions and stuff like that. And then you, you're so grateful that you, you know, you let a lot of stuff slip at the beginning and then you're too deep into it. So the first aspect is community, the second one is helping you out of difficult modern situations, you know, um, like addiction. Not it's They're not modern, by the way. But yeah, like addiction and um, depression and just being unhappy with your job and everything. And the third aspect is this alternative, you know the purpose. WNB Arcade's annual Fright Nights. Anyone in costume gets 100 tickets free. Special rewards on Halloween night. Edible Horrors most beautiful costume contest. Spooktacular prices. Uh, they probably never ever had this. Am I prepared? Yeah. Oh. I would like more with this. More bullets for my Oh, what's that? Oh. I don't think I have enough. Yeah. I don't know why I even look at it, but this is cute. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Do you know which game that is? 
I don't know. It reminds me of a game, but I don't know which one. Oh, there's someone dead lying here. Oh, hi there. Oh! Oh! That's unfortunate. What happened? That's overkill. What happened? Oh, shit. Was that WLF? I'm full on. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I don't need it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've seen this corn. Again, Naughty Dog, get on the merch. Give us this corn. Also, why are there explosives? Oh, it's kind of firework stuff. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay, I don't know what does she... Ah, okay, she wants to go to the window. Oh! Oh! oh. Mm. No! No! Oh, no! No, no, no! And there's no jewel. Oh shit, I'm too. Ugh. Where is it? Oh! Oh! Whoa! What the hell is this bull attack? I don't like it. No! No! I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. Oh, I feel like I will die. I will die. Oh, no. Oh my god, why? <laughs> no. I want to die. What is going on here? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let's just sit here for a while. Damn and think, uh, you know what, Ellie? Let's just wait a minute and just relax a little bit. You know, think about life. Think about what we are happy about. This game, <laughs> this is really, I mean, it's the pandemic and, you know, you want to play something to escape and relieve stress and then Naughty Dog 
does this? I mean, I didn't know that there was going to be a pandemic, but still. Like, this would be stressful in a time when we weren't scared that this virus will not even have a, a proper vaccine. Because apparently there's no immunity. Oh, okay. Kazakh Bright. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, a Russian? Orphaned by the civil war on Titan, young Kazakh Bright vowed revenge on the future alliance whom he held responsible for initiating the conflict. Growing up to become a renowned communication engineer for Spark Century 2020, he developed quantum signaling technology that allowed for instant communication across vast distances. Though it gave Spark an advantage, they still suffered defeat after defeat against the future alliance. Boosting his quantum communicator to reach far beyond our star system, Kazak now tries to contact someone or something capable of helping him seek his revenge. Neutral villain. Mm-hmm. I didn't get anything of that because I'm still so... <laughs> Do I still need... Yeah, I still need... I think it's genius um, that I thought that was poop and not worms. <laughs> Just <laughs> these worms—they look like poop. Um, Naughty Dog is is very good at creating a, a sense of dread um, when it comes to dying. Like he don't want to die, even though um, at least you know. I play on, on on usually easier settings, so the loading is very generous. Like you don't get loaded back to like, you know to the beginning, um, and you have checkpoints during fights and everything. But it's still it's so I I don't I hate 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 dying in The Last of Us. I hate it in most of all games, but that's probably because I like games um, with characters like this, you know, that are not too abstract. Like with Minecraft, it's probably not as hard. But with games like Zero Horizon Dawn or Contr well, Control really isn't, because that's a game where it's not that big of a deal to die and pray as well, which that's all the games that I really like. And Dishonored also, but that the game is also like, you know, save a lot. <laughs> we know this is hard. If you want to stealth it, save a lot, because you will die a lot. But with The Last of Us, I don't know, it feels like... I feel actual dread. Probably also because the deaths are so brutal. I mean, the animation of the deaths, they are... They are hard. Oh, they're all empty? Aww. Oh, I love those things. They are a dying breed in Berlin. We only have, like, really dirty, empty ones. And then the occasional one that's a thousand years old, where you're not quite sure whether you should try it or not. Okay, let's get back on our merry run. No, wait, I have to... Ugh. No. No, I, I did a... I did a not smart thing. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. That's storm. That's a, that's a hurricane. Ellie, are you insane? No, not insane, sorry. That's... But Ellie, are you really... Do you think this is a good idea? In this little... Like, this is a walnut. Oh my god, I don't want this. I dream of this. This is my worst nightmare. I'm so scared of the deep, of, of deep waters. Oh, and, and waves and everything crashing. Oh god. <laughs> Naughty Dog really, they know how to manage, like, your worst fears. And the, the extent, existential fears, you know, like fears of heights, fears of deep waters, fears of getting, like, torn apart by a big monster. 
You know, the usual stuff. Oh my god, the waves! Oh my god, no! They're so high, I don't wanna... I don't wanna, oh my god. I don't wanna... Oh god. Oh god, no. 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 Oh no, no, no. Oh, no. No! Oh. All of this is horrible. Like, doing all this to kill someone, I still can't get over it. Oh, no! Oh. So, diving when a wave comes doesn't really help, does it? Well, a little bit. Yeah, that worked. Can I get to it before the next wave comes? Come on. Oh my god. Let's do this. I like the Lovecraftian look. Also, this is kind of, again, like a little remembrance of uh, the first game. This looks exactly like the ship we were on um, Ishmael's. Um, Isha's ship looked like this. What do you think? Do we find a comic here? And a funny note? Because Ish, he was funny. He was a funny guy. I'm talking because I'm nervous. <laughs> um... Because I know what's happening. I, I I mean, I played this game before. I usually try to play a little bit, um, you know, naive. Like, oh, what's going to happen next? But I know what's happening and I, I don't like it. Mm. Oh god. Oh, all of this is, is making me scared. I want to sit on here and pretend that I'm... No, I want to sit on the giant slug. Oh. <laughs> Can I go there? No. <laughs> I know, Ellie is not in the mood, but I am. Is there something to be found in here or not? No. Huh. Okay, I thought there was something, you know, like a note or something, but apparently this is another goose chase where Naughty Dog just gives you a lot of options to do the thing they want you to do. So you think you have choice, but you don't. Also that music, that's... Ugh. That's the... That's the alleys getting out of hand music. Pardon all mess. Well, I'm a mess too, and Ally is a total mess. Also, this is beautiful. There's no fish. Hmm. Are they all dead? Or did they let them out? Harlequin. Oh, here! It's. It's Nemo. Where's Nemo? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> small, small joke. Wait, where do I have to go? Oh, it's another one of those where I miss the probably very obvious... Um... Oh! Oh my god. Oh, I thought there was someone there. 
Is that by design? I'm always questioning because Naughty Dog is very particular about um, obvious design choice, like not obvious, um, by smart design choices. And when I just entered, I f it looked like um, someone was standing there. I got a feeling somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. You know, because he sings when I'm in the shower, I'm afraid to wash my hair. Um, because someone might be standing there or something like that. That's not the lyric. That's the gist of the lyric. Also, this is beautiful. Just, oh, Ellie. Think of if, if you wouldn't have been on a revenge tour, but just, you know, a friendly visit. Oh, I hope there's no one here who gets, you know, those goosebumps when they see stuff like this and now i'm i'm <laughs> and now i showed it again like oh i hope no one's here but if you are here it is again that will give you the creeps i always think i can find something here but no nothing well tape that's good i never have enough tape mm. Yeah, those are always good. Oh yeah, I can... I can craft three now! <laughs> Best in class. Well, not compared to others. Definitely not. That's the fun thing with... The Last of Us, though, slippery when wet, um, that you can still enjoy it and still, I hope, make uh, an okayish let's play, even if you're not a good player, because there's so much more to discover and so much more to do. And I know there's a lot of let's players that do the whole failing thing, but I'm not doing this on purpose. You might think so, but I'm really not. Because I want to do the whole, you know, commentary on in-game comment, like commentary about the game, about the characters, about themes in the game. Even though in the last episode, I think I veered off into talking about open space offices. Shit. But apart from that, I mostly try to. Oh, there's something to be one of those let's players, you know, that are more about the content of the game that speculate and now analyze and stuff like that that really sounds like a breakthrough here any minute oh yeah well when you know no 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 i don't <laughs> no i know don't make me do this no! <laughs> no! No! Oh my god. Ellie, I fucking hate you. Stupid dog. Just pack dog treats next time you're going on a revenge spree. It will solve all of my problems. Not any single of your problems, but mine. And that is the most important thing. Animal quarantine. Well, I'm so sad now. And I l dislike you. I start to really, really dislike you. God. <sighs> what the fuck happened here? Yeah, someone bled a lot. Ew. 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 Okay. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> it's 
sad. It's so sad. Oh. Oops. Shit. Yeah. Owen Moore. Owen. He's the um the one from the first scene with Abby. And on the picture, he's um, on the picture with Abby. You know, they had a fling, but now he's with Mel. Oh. Oh, one more. That's it? Okay, well. Why not? But look at that. Dried. Beans. What is it, dried? You can't... Look, this is not a taxonomy system. Like, either you write down what it is... Or you write down what you've done with it. Like, either it's dried stuff, or it's beans, or it's dried beans. But this... Like, what is it? These people need someone who organizes the kitchen. And yes, I'm biding my time because I'm, I'm scared. What will happen now? Like, the thing with the dog already just messed me up so much. Oh, I don't hear anything. Mm, okay. <sighs> People don't come back on their island. How many times has Abby risked her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't! Go back. Hands up. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? We give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Get over here. I don't like you, Ellie. Point to where she is on this map. And then you. It better fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth it. Stop! We can talk Back about the it. fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! Oh shit! I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't. I don't wanna. You don't know that, no. She doesn't know. Tell me where Abby is. Where the fuck is she? What did you do? Yeah, there comes the anxiety attack. Oh man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. Tommy. Tommy, you look like shit. It's all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I don't like this.
<gasps> oh, there's the journal. No, oh. <laughs> I never thought like a lesbian erotic novel would make me cry, but there you go. Why can't I look at my diary? Hmm. Oh, now? Okay. Oh. I don't think I can tolerate this. It's too painful. I feel like I'm betraying him if I leave. Is it even about him anymore? He'd want me to leave. He'd put the people he loves first. I mean... You know... Fuck what Joel would want. He's... He was so sweet to Ellie, but he was a horrible human being to a lot of other people. Get there, this whole area be thawed. Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. We can fall city by tomorrow. We're doing good. Hey. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. You fuck that. Who cares? Yeah. Is that okay? It better is. It has to be. Don't pout, Ellie. Really. Just. Ugh. Mm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's gonna do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. What? However, <laughs> when I was passing through some ritzy section of town, I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. Let's see it. I know what gold looks like. <laughs> if it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha. <laughs> Find your own damn bribes. Well, he's hurt as well. How you doing? Fine. Ellie. Fine. <sighs> Thanks for coming back for me. Friends' problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about uh, my friends can't get out of their own damn way? It's better. because of me, I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Oh, 
Oh, baby Abby. Oh. Oh. Well, she trained a lot in those four years. Okay, so I will end this episode here. Um, and we continue next episode with Abby, which is exciting. Meeting someone new. I mean, I gotta say, spending so much time with Ellie was a real downer. I mean, she's... She's turned into someone, like, she's always negative. She's so hateful. <sighs> you know, it's just, you can't have fun with her anymore. So I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe meeting someone new who might be a bit more lighthearted and a bit nicer to other people. So let's see how that goes. And as I know Naughty Dog, this game, you know, will have a total happy, happy end. So maybe they will all become friends in the end. Meet at Central Perk and talk about... Um, guy problems or gal problems in Ellie's case so yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode um well as much as you can enjoy <laughs> the story of the last of us 2 <laughs> I hope you uh, enjoyed my let's play of the last of us 2 not that you can't enjoy it but it's it's hard it's um starker tobak we say in German which is like it's hard to swallow um yeah and if you like this, then like this. Um, subscribe, comment, whatever. Also, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for someone else. And even if it's just saying thank you or have a nice day. Um, with that being said, have a nice day. And uh, bye!